what is syntax? Let's go out to the code. Cledum. Syntax is what we're allowed to do when we code. It's the words that we can use, the order in which we can put them, and any characters, almost like punctuation, that we can use. That's the syntax of coding. And the computer can only understand things when they're done in a certain way. And it can be very frustrating when you first start coding, if you forget to, to finish a bracket or something out of syntax. So if you get syntax coloring in your editor, it can be handy because this is telling us these are keywords in purple. So bar, new, and function. Those words come with the language and we're allowed to use them. The words that are in white are our own made up words. And we can't just use a made up word without declaring it somehow. So here it is declared as a var. So this is us saying to the computer, don't worry, I'm going to make up a word and you, I want you to remember this word so that later I can use it again. And so that's all right if we do it that way. And we'll talk about variables in an upcoming um, what is session. Okay. Now there's also punctuation, things like equal signs, that's an assignment operator. These are operators and we'll talk about those as well, what's available for us. And then a semicolon ends a statement. This does a comment. So all of these symbols mean something to the computer. Um, in blue, these are functions that have been defined somewhere. So zog is one to log to the console. It comes with zim. This is us logging to the console. And if we try and log to the console scaling, so I type scaling here, it knows that scaling has the word fit in it. So this will work just fine. So we save that and I will run it in a browser. We open it in a browser. Now to see our console, whoop, there it goes. To see our console, we press F12. F12, and there it says fit, right there. See, in our console, that's a bit small for you, but it says the word fit because we had put fit into scaling. But if we said scalings or scalings crumble crumble, that is a word that we have not declared yet. And watch what happens. <coughs> It makes us cough. So we save that up and I view in a browser. Oh, nothing there. And if I hit F12, it has a, an error that says scalar is not defined. So, oops, we're not allowed to do that. Now, if we forgot a bracket, even if we were to use scaling, for instance, zog scaling is supposed to have a bracket after it. If we don't provide the bracket, that's bad syntax, it's bad form. All brackets should have closing brackets. So if we save this up and view it in a browser, and F12, oops, that's an F11, <laughs> lots of nothing. If we F12, again, missing a bracket after argument list. And you might scratch your head and go, an argument list, what is that? Ah, that is going to be a lot of that because often when we start coding, we get the syntax wrong. It's almost like learning a language. And um, some of the meanings of those uh, errors are a little bit difficult. But that's telling you an argument list, by the way, is um, a list separated by commas that go in between these round brackets. And we'll talk more about that when we talk about functions. Okay, so that's a little bit about what syntax is. And if you don't do the syntax correctly, as you see, things break. If you forget this quote right here, take that off. Ooh, even the editor doesn't like that. It's warning me. Oh, we've got the wrong syntax. Doop, doop, doop. So good luck with your syntax. As you code more, you get better and better. And uh, you can code lots at zimjs.com. Have a great day.